second grade. Today, our objective is to show and understand fractions by using a Hershey bar. But first, we need to see what a fraction is and the different parts of the fraction. So we're going to be using the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Fractions book to understand that. And it is written by Jerry Paletto. So first, we need to understand what a fraction is. Here we have one whole milk chocolate candy bar. And what is a fraction? A fraction is a part or a portion of a whole thing. We're using a Hershey's milk chocolate candy bar as our whole thing. Next, we need to see the different parts of the fraction. Three twelfths is another way of saying one fourth. Did you know that the top number of the fraction is called the numerator and the bottom number of the fraction is called the denominator? Now you know. So we're going to look and on three twelfths, the three is our numerator and the 12 is our denominator. So we have three pieces out of our total of 12. So we are going to now use a Hershey bar to understand and show fractions better. Let's begin. Okay, so our first step is to open our Hershey's candy bar. And when you get done, place the wrapper on your desk so we do not litter. So see, we now have one hole. And our whole is our Hershey's candy bar. So first we're going to break it into halves. So we're going to break our bar into two pieces. One, two. So our fraction is one half. Because one out of two pieces create the whole candy bar. Next, we are going to create fourths. So we are going to break our halves in half again. So now we have one, two, three, four equal pieces. So one fourth and one fourth is equal to one half. So we're going to put the other half together. So one fourth and one fourth is equal to one half. And one half and one half is equal to the whole candy bar. So we can make a fraction into fourths, into halves, so we have four equal parts. One, two, three, four. So if we take one to the side, we have one out of the four pieces, so it is equal to one fourth. Now, we're going to break it into smaller pieces. And you should have 12 equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And each piece is equal to all of the rest of the pieces. So we are going to put our Hershey bar back together. So which would you rather have? Would you rather have one twelfth or would you rather have eleven twelfths? I would rather have 11 twelfths because it is more. The more that you divide your whole, the smaller the pieces are. So, what did we learn today? We learned that a Hershey bar can be divided into three different fractions. Halves, fourths, And twelfths. But the important thing to know about fractions is that they have to be equal size. We can take another Hershey bar and break it into the same type of pieces. There are four pieces, but this is not one fourth of the whole Hershey bar because it is not the same or equal in size. So, it is important to understand that fractions have to be equal sized parts of the whole thing.